Dunlap Lures, results matter. Got a real big uh, male coyote here. Um, what I had here was a double dirt hole, which I'll be putting one right back in. But uh, I'd caught a possum here like two days ago. You know, so the thing is, if you catch an off target like that, don't worry about it. Just remake the set. You know, the proof is in the pudding. And uh, But as far as this location, I went all over this field, you know, looking. And I just didn't like anything. It's got taller grass. Nothing really caught my eye. There was a hump here that would keep the rain off the set a little bit. You know, it would run off. Um, you know, so that's why I chose this location. It just caught my eye, and you know, and uh, but the thing is, is I didn't go up along that edge. I came out from it because the wind, you know, is coming across from here. So it'll any the scent dispersal will cover from here to the grass or anywhere in between there. If I put it up on the edge, it's just blowing the scent dispersal off into nothing where they they aren't. They're up on here. So you know that's what you want to you know make sure with that wind direction. If it's coming this way, you want that scent dispersal to go that way because if you don't do that, there was no sense even using any lures because they aren't going to smell it. So you know just uh, check your wind. And uh, I'm going to do the remake on this and uh, keep smiling about this awesome coyote. Well, I'm going to put that set right back in where I had it. I got the, uh, it's anchored down with the uh, Freedom Brand Wolf Fang. I got uh, 18, the 18 inch uh, 330 second cable on it. And he didn't move it at all. All I'm gonna do is just uh, I'll get my. Oh, they're going the wrong way. Putting in a, like I said, a double dirt hole. I like how they, uh, you know, work those a lot of times. I want to get them good and deep so they can't run off with my bait and quit working my set. Alright. It's going to take like a handful of wax dirt and put in there. It's supposed to start getting cold. Alright. Oh. Good and solid. Just take some of my dirt, kind of pack it on the outside, just sturdy it up in case we got any type of problem. Uh, got me a wax paper here. Just gonna take some wax dirt, put it right on there, smooth it all out. Like so. I'm just gonna kind of put a little bit of this over the top just to kind of blend it in a little bit. I don't want anything big on there. Oops. Well, I'm blind and crazy. I'm a double threat. Uh, put my sheep's wool right there to get it working. Using uh, location predator bait. Just gonna use about a tablespoon. I'm gonna make sure I push that way down deep in the hole. And the uh, cryptic caillou gland I'm going to put it on the other side. So I caught this one on. Might as well stick with success. Use my spoon. Push that all the way down in there. I'll bust that stick off so they can't grab it and run. But, uh, you know, that's a completed uh, set. Um, you know, well, almost. 
I took some of this duff and put back there. Not as a pile, just of a, you know, have them work the front. You also, you know, I mean, you also can take, you know, duff, put it out here, you know, just kind of spread it out, just to force them like a walkthrough. You know, there's multiple things you can do. Um, but if you make sets like this, just stay on top of keeping them going. The, uh, the hardest thing when you're out predator trapping is, a lot of times, is keeping the sets working through the bad times and, you know, maintaining them. And then, you know, you're just waiting for the predators to move. Um, you know, so just keep the sets working. Set them like this. Play the wind. Stay off the right off the edge, especially where up where you know the possums generally are. And you're going to be successful. Everybody can go out and make sets and catch catch coyotes and have fun out here doing this. This isn't uh, you know, like they're a mystical animal, like a unicorn that can't be caught. So, you know, just get out there and set them. You're going to do good.